Welcome to Rox Talks, the podcast that helps network marketers grow their business on social media. I'm Roxanne Wilson, and I've got a question for you. Your engagement, how's it doing? Does it suck? Well, if it sucks, or if you're not sure if it sucks, I'm going to give you the three top reasons, the reasons that I see each and every day as I'm working with clients and just looking at, at your social media um, in general, why your engagement's not working. And we're going to do something to fix it. So stick around. By now, if you've been listening to this podcast, you know how important it is to incorporate live streaming into your social media cadence, your recipes, your 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 diet. And uh, hands down, if you're looking for a way to do that and look professional, I've got to just remind you that Be Live is the go-to for your streaming. But I'm going to actually talk to you for a second if you are nervous about streaming. Um, maybe streaming is not your thing yet, but you like to do videos and then upload them onto your social media. I got news for you. Be Live is fantastic for that as well, too. It's one of the things I love about it because it gives you, if you're watching me right now, you're seeing the great overlays. And if you watch my live videos, you see how I'm able to pull up um, the engagement, engagement that's going on there and really bring the people, the viewers in. You have an opportunity to do that too by using Be Live and if you want to look professional, but you're just not ready to live stream yet, I highly recommend using BeLive, recording your videos. You can record them. You can even snip them and cut different sections of them and then pop that on your social media. How do you like that? Um, try that on for size. In fact, if you would like to try it on for size, and I highly recommend you do, go to bit.ly forward slash BeLive Summit for, get a load of this, a 14-day free trial. You'll be glad that you did. It's time to up-level your, your social media game and really connect faster and deeper with your clientele. So you can get the customers and you can recruit away. Ah, uh, you know, I think that engagement is becoming one of my favorite things to really discuss. Probably because it's more than a buzzword. We hear engagement, 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 but it really is a thing and it really does move the needle. You know, you, we talk about like wanting to make sure our social media and our marketing is working and lo and behold, the biggest thing you want or you need, I should say, on your social media is to make sure you're getting that engagement going. I said need instead of want because probably what you want is you post something and then you got a million people just buying your product and joining your business and that's awesome, but it's not realistic. But what really is realistic is getting that engagement. And and the reason engagement is so important without going too deeply into it, maybe we'll do that next week, um, is because that is that communication you're having with your target market, right? You're learning about them, they're learning about you. But there's another reason that engagement works and is so great because it gives you social proof. So people see, oh, what she has to say, um, people are listening to, believe it or not, that matters, right? Um, I mean, it's one of the reasons that Instagram is trying to hide their likes because they know that that can be social proof. But the other thing is this, it just makes you feel better. Can we talk about the elephant in the room? The fact that, gosh, when you get engagement, when you do go live and someone is there and they're commenting, or when you do a post and you come back and there's all these comments, how good does that feel? I'll, I'll be honest right now. It feels pretty dang good. I like it. Um, and the nice thing about that is if you are nervous about doing social media and you're getting interaction, it is a, it's like that little engine that could. It gives you a little bit more juice, more gas, so they, or, or if you're an electric vehicle, it gives you a little bit more um, energy so that you are, um, you're ready to go out there and do it again and put yourself out there again and again. So if, if for no other reason, we like and we want engagement because it makes us feel good and we go back for more. <laughs> Just listen, I said elephant in the room, that's the way it is. But today I want to break down for you why your engagement sucks or stinks if you don't like the word sucks. My apologies. And this is because what I hear time and time again, and in my free social media um, group, social media for network marketers, one of the questions I ask is, what is your biggest struggle when it comes to social media and network marketing? And do you know what the number one answer is, like light years ahead, is engagement, is getting engagement on my posts. That is the big thing. So let's talk about the big thing, shall we? And while we are, let me just say this, okay? I I do my best thinking in, my, in the shower. Used to be in the steam room, but steam rooms aren't open right now. So it happens in the shower. And I was thinking about you all right before I came out here, took a shower. 
That's what I did. I got on the Peloton, did my workout, which by the way, the chicks, if you're the chicks ride rocks, the Casbah did that, did my strength training with Adrian and then took a shower. And I was like, okay, Eureka, because I was having, I was on the struggle bus really trying to pinpoint exactly what I wanted to say to you in this episode. And also what I wanted that to lead into. And then like in the shower, Eureka, (laughs) it came to me. The thing you keep asking about, the thing you uh, struggle with, the thing that is a daily grind or however often you post is engagement. And you feeling like you're putting things out there and you're just not getting the reaction, the response, the traction, the stickiness, whatever you want to call it, that you want. So how do we make, how do we turn the corner? How do we make sure that your engagement gets a going? All right. That's what we're going to talk about right now. And it is going to lead into something. So get excited about this because I got a special announcement attached to engagement at the end of this, but let's go into the top three reasons. And I think maybe we should start with reason number three. I like a good countdown, don't you? Or I used to love Saturday mornings, wake up and listen to the music countdown or on Sundays, whenever it was. I even loved listening to Rick D's and the weekly top 40. Is that even on anymore? Anyhow, um, and radio, I loved a good countdown when I did radio. So here are the top three reasons that your engagement stinks, okay? I'm just calling it out so you're ready to go. All right, number three. Actually, I don't know. Maybe these are in no particular order at all. Because I, I look at them like, oh, that one's important. That one's important. Well, let's, let's do this one as number three. Number three is... There's a song by Avril Lavigne. I'm just all about the music today. Maybe because I'm wearing the headphones and I, it reminds me of my radio days. Um, the song is called Complicated. And Avril sings over and over again. I won't sing it for you, but I'll say it. Why you got to go and make things so complicated. Okay? Um, and I, that is like your goal when it comes to seeking and getting engagement is to make it simple. Yes, keep it simple, stupid. What do I mean by that? Well, if you look, and I want you to go back and look at your posts. In fact, perhaps what you should do is listen to each of these, pause, and go back and look at the last five posts you've been putting up on your social media. Are you making it too complicated? Why you got to go make things so complicated? What do I mean by that? You're doing this post and you're asking me like five questions. You know, if you want engagement, yes, you need to ask for it. And I believe that. But if you ask me five things, I don't have time to answer five things, three things, even two things on your one post. You picking up what I'm putting down? So go back and look at it and see how many questions did you ask? Did you ask like, how are you doing today? Have you ever felt like such and such? Do you know what I mean? What do you think? What are your thoughts? It happens all the time. And you're probably doing it. You don't even realize it. It is good to ask questions absolutely in, in your posts because if you ask me a question in your lives, if you ask me a question, then I'm more likely to answer you back. But if you ask me four or five questions, think about it. Your target market is probably, I'm going to guess, um, you know, I don't like the word busy, but I'm going to say it, a busy one. She may have kids. She might be homeschooling or hybriding them. Um, she's got her own business or working or whatever it is. She's, she's doing the most. And she takes a minute to look at your post. And while she may find your post is gold and interesting, you asked her, you asked her too many questions. You asked her several questions or deep questions like, what's your biggest fear? Or have you ever felt depressed? Um, And and tell me, instead of saying, and tell me what that felt like. Like, give me details in long summary form. That's basically what you're asking her. Even if she does want to answer it, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, all of a sudden the microwave goes off. She's got a kid crying. Um, work is calling her and she does not have time to answer your question because it took too long to answer it. You picking up what I'm putting down? One of the engagement questions that I um, was introduced to by the great Molly Mahoney was Brussels sprouts, yes or no. And she's very specific. If you've seen her on the summits, I had her as guest on the summits in the podcast. It's like those five words, don't ask anything else. Let people come and answer. Now, here, what's interesting about that is you ask them a question, this, yes or no. And as a result, they're able to answer that super quickly, right? That's a big, like, I can answer that. I can give you my answer. I might even give you a little more, but you ask me a specific question and I'm able to answer it. Think about that. Even if you're doing a big emotional post, you want to make sure that you are really specific about the 
question you're asking so that you keep it simple for her and she can answer it. So I want you to think, am I making things complicated? Is Would Avril go, why you got to make things so complicated? And if I'm doing that, then maybe I need to pull back. Make those, I like, I always say Goldilocks, Goldilocks, like it's not too cold, it's not too hot, it's just right. Didn't ask too many questions, didn't ask no, zero questions, you ask the right questions. That is going to help you get your engagement going. It probably stinks because you're asking too much. You're doing, you're asking too much of me and I ain't, and, and ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> I don't have time for that. Or I just, or it's super personal and I'm not going to say that to you. I did a live today and it was about uplines and about uplines that do too much. And I said, listen, I don't expect you guys to comment at all on this because I know that you probably don't want, like, it's a witness protection program right here. I know you're picking up what I'm putting down, but I'm not, at, like, I'm asking this question, but I'm not asking you to answer the question. You get me? You want to make, so I knew that the content I was putting out there is content where people don't want to be like, yes, my upline, rah, rah, rah. we didn't want that. I wanted them to hear it and know what they can do about it. And what's interesting, because I simulcast, right? So on Instagram, I was getting a lot of those hearts because no one gets to see who those hearts are. So people were like, yeah. But on Facebook, people were very quiet because people know they can identify who it is. And I totally got that. If you're asking a question, so I didn't expect a lot of engagement from that that video. If you're asking a question that is like, I don't want to go on record at, by saying it, then people are not going to engage. And you just need to be aware of that. doesn't mean don't ask the question. Just know that that's one of the reasons. Okay. So that's the number three reason. Let's, we're counting this down, right? Number three, you made it too complicated. Number, okay. I'm going to do this as number two. Listen, these are like tied. Um, but number two, they're not engaging with you because you aren't engaging with them. Bum, ba, ba, dum, and that comes in different forms. But we, as a, you understand that you've got to mirror the behavior and celebrate and reward the behavior you want to happen. I liken this to a dog. And you know, I love me a dog. Mine is, Baylor's hiding behind me somewhere. She's like wrapped herself in my, my clean clothes. Um, what I remember when I had Bear, my first Yorkie, I went to a puppy class and they said, you want to set your, your dog up for success. You want to, and, and it makes sense. Like, so you you make sure that you don't know, set them up to be, fail. Like, you don't sit there and put them around things they shouldn't eat and go, oh, well, they ate it. Well, you put them right there. But you reward the behavior you want them to emulate. Dogs are so smart. They get it. We as um, humans don't realize, oh, that's what we're doing. So here's what I mean by that. When you do get the engagement, because you will, and you probably are, uh, my question is you're going back and looking at your posts, are you, are you actually rewarding that behavior? Are you? Now, how do you reward the behavior you want? I'm like, well, number one, if you want me to comment and I do, then you should, that, that I've said, yep, let's have this conversation. Then you need to reply back to me. Not just a heart. Hearts are fine. Likes are lazy though. I believe that. Uh, I heard that like years ago. I'm like, oh, that's, wow, but they are. I can do a bunch of likes in seconds, but it takes time. And if someone took the time to comment, I'm not talking about the creepers. I'm talking about people that your target market, if they took time to comment, you need to take time to reply back. A good little window is like within 12 hours, go back and check. Okay. I know sometimes they're going to come in like weeks later. That's fine. Try and catch them. Instagram set up really easily now where you can see them. Um, Facebook kind of, I mean, there's so many alerts, right? But you can do that. Remember you posted it. Go back about 12 hours later and see if there are comments, okay, within 12 hours. And then comment back. And don't comment back with emojis. Start the dialogue. Have that conversation. Reward that behavior because other people are looking. And there are people who saw what you posted. They didn't engage verbally, but they did in their mind. And when they see, oh, my gosh, Roxanne's totally she's having that conversation with those people, they're more likely to go ahead and comment because you, they see you've rewarded that behavior, okay? Another thing you can do to reward behavior is go to their post, their most recent post, and comment on theirs. That's another way to reward that behavior. Now, that's not something that emulates for other people to see, but the person who took the time to post on your page is like, oh, look, she's okay. We're having a, I can know, like, and trust her a little bit more. We are having a connection. We're compadres, okay? So make sure you're doing that. And of course, with live streaming, you want, and when someone shouts, when someone comments, you want like with BeLive, I just put that comment up. Even if I'm like in deep in the throes of like training something, if comments are coming in, I do my best. And if you ever see me looking down, that's why to go ahead and, and add the comments so that at least you're seeing that stream come across the screen 
What does that do? Well, golly, geolocers, it rewards the people who've commented, but then also other people are like, oh, I, <laughs> I want to see my comment up there. Very cool. Okay. That's a great way you can do it. Or if you don't have Be Live, you're live streaming, just comments saying so-and-so says such and such. I totally agree. You want to make sure you're making those comments. You're making those happen. Okay. So you aren't getting it, number two, because you aren't engaging with them. You got to engage back. You got to keep this dialogue going. You got to make it, uh, make it a thing. And then the number one reason, can I get a drum roll, please? You know, I don't have a drum roll here, but it would be nice. The number one reason your engagement stinks, and this one might hit you a little hard and that is okay. This one might like cut like a knife or through or like right, pierce you right between the eyes. You know, you know, be ready. All right, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, release. I'm going to tell you in five, four, three, two, one, you're making this all about you. Your engagement stinks because you've made it all about you. And guess what? It is not about you. You're like, wait, but yeah, it it's not about the fact that you have a goal and you're trying to get um, to some retreat or you're trying to get some rank advancement. It's not about the fact that you've got to sell certain things in this time. It's not about any of that. Your post should be about them. Now, this is something where those of you who are very sensitive, like, oh my gosh, but I don't want to, I'm afraid to post. This doesn't mean you don't post about you. Whenever you're writing a post, you want to ask yourself, so what? I learned this from one of my mentors when I was doing, um, doing home shopping. He would literally have us up there, like you're up there in front of like uh, management and everything and you're presenting something and he'd go, so what? And you had to make sure that whatever thing you said about whatever you were selling, you could it has this. So what? And why does, in other words, why does this matter to the person who's spending time watching you? So when you post something, you want to ask yourself, so what? Why does this post matter to my target market, to my audience, to my followers? When I see posts, and y'all, I look not only at my clients, but I look at other network marketers' intention. I'm looking at you, seeing what you're posting. A lot of times I'm like, okay, well, I know I should post that. She's got a goal to get. Even when you say things, can you help me out? That's about you. That's not about me. When you start like, I need help hitting this goal. Can you help me out? You are posting for you, not for me. Got nothing to do with me. When you're posting all about your products all the time or all about your business, or it has nothing to do with me. This is not to say you don't post about your products, your business. It's to say you want to make sure that you're couching everything, making sure I know why I should care about it. You see what I'm saying? That's a huge one. And we could unpack and unpack. And, and you're probably wondering, okay, I get it, but how do I do that? Now I'm like afraid, or how do I unlearn the bad habits that I've been taught? Mm -hmm. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Because I have those bad habits. I learned those bad habits. I was all in it. I was coachable. And I made it all about me. And then I tweaked it. And it wasn't about me. It was about my clients. It was about my future clients and my future team members. And things changed in a big way. So here's the thing. I've given you the three reasons. All right. You're like, Ross, anymore. I've given you the three reasons. You've got the three reasons. Okay. You know, I want you to go back and look at your last week of posts and ask yourself, do any of these fit into this criteria? Could it have stunk? Because I made it too complicated and asked way too many questions. Or it was just way too complicated. It was too many subjects and there was too much going on. Um, could it have sucked because or stunk, whatever you want to call it, because I'm not engaging. I'm not rewarding the engagement, engaging behavior when I do get it. I I'm just not engaging with them. So why would they engage with me? And could it have sucked because I made my last five posts all about me or just last one? If you're like, yes, and you're like, what do I do next? Eureka! I've got the answer for you. All right. What I want to invite you to is something very important, very special. We are doing a challenge in the Social Media for Network Marketers um, Facebook group. It's a free group. Just come on in. And we're going to kick off a five-day engagement challenge starting um, on Monday, which that's not fair because you're like, Monday, when am I listening to this? Let me give you the date. I should have memorized it. I did not. That's okay. Um, it is on the 5th. It is the 5th. Okay. So the 5th. On April 5th, we're kicking this off. It's five days of engagement. I'm going to walk you through um, and you're going to be posting and getting that engagement going and learning the fundamentals. Does that sound good to you? So that if you have stinky <laughs> or sucky engagement, we're going to work on getting your engagement better in those next in those five days. If you would like to join, I'd love to have you as part of it. All you need to do is 
simply um, go to the Facebook group. It's social media for network marketers. Um, also, if you're that, you can't remember that, that's okay. You can also go to rockstalkspodcast.com and you'll see links and information about how you can, we'll link you right over that free Facebook page um, group, I should say, so you can get into this. And I recommend that you just go ahead and you invite your upline, your downline, your sideline, other people's lines, because engagement is a thing. It's something we all struggle with. So let's figure this out. Let's get into the practice of pumping up that engagement. Sound good? Awesome. We'll be right back with Behind the Scenes. All right. A little behind the scenes. It is, I almost, I almost said it was the end of March, which it is when you're, we're, you're listening and it's towards the end, but it's the 25th. It's not quite the end of March. Um, this week I have been, y'all, I did something pretty big. I did. So do you ever set goals for yourself? Sure you do. Um, one of the things that I set literally in October of 2019 was that I was going to invest in myself and join a very special coaching program. Um, And my goal was to join it, frankly, it was supposed to be April, April or May of 2020. Well, you know what happened in 2020. And that coaching program was not even offered. And so I put it in the back of my head. I did some other things, but the one that I wanted and I like was on my list didn't happen. Well, I was looking at my emails. You gotta look at your emails on Sunday. And no joke, let me go back. Saturday, I said to myself, I'm kind of comfortable. I don't feel like I, I don't feel that like, and some people don't need that hunger, but I like the hunger helps. Me. Like I'm a competitive person. I'm like, I don't feel that. I'm like, but Roxy, maybe this is the stage in, in, you're just not supposed to. I'm like, okay, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll feel it. Lo and behold, I wake up Sunday morning and I see an email from this, this mentor Um, and I hope I skim, I'm like, Oh, let's see this. I skim it. And at the very end, it says the coaching program that was not available is now available. Fill out your applications here. And you've got till the 24th, which is yesterday to, to apply. I'm like, Oh, I was just feeling comfortable. Zoinks. Uh, So I got, I went on the website. I'm like, yep, this is the program. This was the exact, this was the exact thing. This is what I'm like, ah, so I was like, (sighs) because listen, coaching programs aren't free. You know, they're not, and you know, I'm a firm believer in, in in paying, investing in yourself. That's a big thing. And, and I'll probably go on a soapbox about that here pretty soon uh, about a different situation, but I believe in that. I believe in that. And typically when you have to stretch a little bit more, that makes you, you just bring your best self. So I was like, okay, it's a 12 month program. You're going to do this. You're going to invest in yourself in this way and your time and your energy and all these things. And I was like, so I, I voxed Megan because, you know, she's my, my um, success partner. I was like, oh, you won't believe it. And she was like, well, you know, you, you can apply. And doesn't mean you have to say yes. I'm like, I know. But you also know that once I apply, I am definitely doing it. If I get in, they may not even want to take me. You've got, and she's like, I know. She's like, they're gonna, A, they're going to take you. And B, you're, you're right. You're probably going to do it if you get accepted. I'm like, okay. All right. All right. Okay. So I sat down, was not on my plan on Sunday. I sat down and I started doing the application and I was in there. Do you know, like three hours went by? I said like three hours on that thing. I was like, how did that happen? Submitted it and I got in. <laughs> Yay. So I'm like a little bit terrified, but a little bit excited. I'm like in that middle zone, but I'm so, so excited because I know that a year from now, y'all hold me to this. A year from now, I'll be like, y'all look where we've gone. And here's the thing. I believe I'm coaching you all and you don't just sit there and go, okay, I'm just going to coach and not get coached. I need to constantly be bettering myself so I can constantly be a help to you. And so I'm very excited. So that is coming up, kicks off next month. Um, I think on the 5th, actually, when our challenge kicks off. So um, stay tuned. Uh, I, I'm, I'm pumped. So there's that. Uh, that's And then also my dad, yesterday he got this big award. He's a professor. At Arizona State, and they gave him this big um, faculty service award, which is a big deal. Um, and it was just really exciting. Of course, I wasn't able to be there because of you know the vid, but um, they did this little surprise for him. So one person was allowed to go, and my sister went with him. And um, but what they did was they invited family to to be in a secret Zoom room. So it streamed like on all these different places, but a secret Zoom room. And right when he got his reward, we popped up and we were like, ah. And what I did um, is I made some Zoom backgrounds, right, for it, and I and we gave them out to the the, 
the all the people who were there to share them on, which by the way, there were like over 50 people who who were there in the Zoom room to cheer him on, which is very exciting. Um, but of course I made, <laughs> I made like some, you know, some modest ones and whatnot, but then I made one with his face. <laughs> Four rows of my dad's face. <laughs> because he's a good, he's going to be like, Roxanne, why did you do that? That's so you, Roxanne. He just shakes his head. <laughs> but it's really exciting. And when I saw the video, which I'm not joking, I, I once it's on, I'm actually going to put it on my page. I'm going to put a link to it um, or embed it on the podcast page because, y'all, I, I got teary watching it and just hearing him. And so it was really special. And I'd love to share that with you because my dad is pretty awesome. That's all I have for you today. I hope that you're being kind to yourself and kind to others and you're doing something, at least one thing for you. Do it um, this week. Thank you so much for listening to Rocks Talks. You're not ahead. You're not behind. You're exactly where you need to be. And I'll see you next week for another episode of Rocks Talks. Take care.